Hunters across Wisconsin are gearing up for the upcoming deer hunt. The nine day hunt begins in nine days, a week from Saturday. Not for this season, but the gun hunt and others could be changing next year. Good evening, everyone. This evening, Samaria hunters weighed in on a new law to make hunting and trapping easier in state parks. Wisconsin's DNR is looking for input on how to implement the new law that takes effect in January. And tonight, Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo brings us multiple views. Act 168, or the Sporting Heritage Bill, became a law in Wisconsin last spring. It allows hunting and trapping in any state park during any hunting season. It basically opens all state parks unless closed by specific action either by the Department or the Natural Resources Board. Parks Director Dan Schuller says the state could decide to close off hunting in certain areas if public safety or natural resources are concerns. Before this law, hunting was allowed in some state parks, but only with special DNR permission. Now the DNR has to write up a plan of rules and regulations for the new law's January 1st implementation in each park. The Natural Resources Board has to approve that plan. Thursday night, they heard from the public in Appleton. I think we're doing a good thing. It's part of conservation. It's part of management of our natural resources. Some say this will help control certain animal populations on public lands, but others worry about the human population. I just think it's an accident waiting to happen. Bob Richard says safety is a big concern especially in the parks in Door County. He worries this could hurt tourism. It's going to be very, very difficult uh, for people to go out and take a walk, go skiing, go biking in the spring, knowing there could be hunters out there. But Chuck Matiska says this could help hunter tourism now that so much land is private. A lot of times you can't find a place to hunt. And if we can't have a place to hunt, we're going to lose hunters. Schuller says the state will take all ideas and concerns into account. We're going to take our recommendation to the Natural Resources Board in, at their December meeting. The board is expected to vote on that recommendation before the end of the year. In Appleton, Alex Ronaldo, Fox 11 News. Briefly tonight, want to take a closer look at where the law will have an impact in our area. We are blessed in this part of the state to have a dozen plus state parks, and one of them is High Cliff on the northeast shore of Lake Winnebago. Saw a glimpse of High Cliff in Alex's story. Door County has perhaps the highest concentration of state parks, along with the Madison area of anywhere in the state. There are five throughout Door County. The rest are spread around the area from the uh, west shore of the bay around to Wapaka County and on around to Lake Michigan. And there's one park with no hunting or trapping. They'll still be prohibited at Heritage Hill State Park in Alloway because of its urban setting and because of its lack of animals.